Hi there! In this video, we will be using an SFTP connection to move flat files to a database. Before you begin this task, make sure you have gathered all of your flat file data and have access to the XPlenty platform. We'll start in the XPlenty Pipeline Overview menu. We will select Add Component on the top of the grid overview using our simple UI. Under Sources, we will add a File Storage Component. Open the component. Under Input Connection, select the SFTP connection. Enter a source path. We will then choose from three different types of files. Delimited, JSON object, and raw files. Then select a delimiter, a string qualifier, and an escape character. Click Next. We'll then make a connection and read in that file. Save the component. Next, we'll add a transformation that filters the data. Select the filter component. Open the filter component and filter out any fields where the ID is not null. Click Save. We will also need to standardize the dates and timestamps. So we'll add a select component that allows us access to field level transformation. Then click Autofill to bring in the data. We'll need to ensure that the timestamp for the cell date is a date time object. So inside the expression editor, we will use the toDate function. We'll then pass the cell date into the toDate function. Click Save. Those timestamps will now be standardized to a date time object. The data has been cleansed and standardized and is ready to go to a database. We will then be sending this data to a Postgres database. Give the table a name and continue to fill out the required fields. The final step is mapping input fields to destination columns. Save the component. Congratulations! Your flat files are now filtered, standardized, and ready to be aggregated into the database. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.